What is up guys? I wanted to do a little update video. Um, I was planning on doing a SXR update video and then a ride video, but obviously with all the coronavirus stuff going on, I can't do any riding videos because all the lakes are shut down. So I wanted to just show you, you know, where the SXR is right now and then kind of just give a little update of everything that's going on. So I actually sold the 2010 Superjet. Um, the motor actually blew up, the white motor it blew up with maybe maybe 20 hours on it. And I was building the 2002, I was putting together the 1990 Superjet. So, you know, I just said to heck with it. I don't want to spend the money and build three different Superjets. So I sold the 2010 Superjet and then I took the barn find motor uh, that I made a video on and I'm putting that motor in the 1990 Superjet and I'm selling it to my buddy Jeremy so that he he only has Kawasaki's so I thought this would be the perfect ski for him to get into the Yamaha Superjet Club so I gave him a really great deal on it and I know that he's gonna put it together the right way so without further ado let's check out the uh, SXR now that's pretty much it um, there's a few things that I'm still waiting on I'm waiting on the rail kit that goes all the way around um, I just went with I'm not going with the turf I got like a 3m like bumper type deal I don't know what it's called and then uh, I have the front bumper so once I get that wrap or the uh, 3m that goes around I'll put the bumper on and then I'm waiting on the wax racing billet kill switch housing and that's pretty much it the wrap is just a uh, Chinese wrap kit that I got on eBay for 200 shipped. I really love how it turns out. With the ski being all black, it just, it really pops. But, um, I mean, it looks good from about right here. That's kind of why I've been recording from this distance. But it didn't line up perfectly in every point. Like, there's a gap there all the way along the hood. And then right here we had to cut it. and We didn't get it perfect. But, you know, it, it really does... It does its purpose, you know. Looks pretty damn good uh, for what it's worth, you know, 200 bucks. But uh, it was my first time wrapping. I'll do a little uh, time lapse clip that I got. Uh, me and my wife actually installed it, and Alec helped a little bit. But um, I'd say it took about three hours total, and I didn't get the whole thing on time lapse because my GoPro died. But here's what I have. Easy 
Hmm. It looks good like that. You're too close to it. Stand back a little. Look, it looks fine. I think there's like a little gap. Oh, it's just dealing with the curvature of the skin. See? It looks fine. Stand yeah, back. but see this here? Yeah. Does it line up perfectly, but... And then a little update on the X2. Uh, I was just gonna freshen the motor and then I got this West Coast pipe and this Sudco Blue from Alec. And I dropped the pipe off to get powder coated. It's got a high temp black. It looks awesome, came out great. So we're gonna throw that, just those two, Sudco Blue and the West Coast pipe on there. And then that's probably all I'll do. And then we started to paint the engine bay because you know everything was pulled, so why not? And we actually found some pretty serious damage. I know that the ski had this front damage that someone attempted to repair. Um, I didn't think it was as bad as it actually is. And then once we found this, we just continued to find more and more damage underneath. So we, we still painted the engine bay. We did the black with the orange speckle. I think it came out looking great, but uh, up front we didn't spray because the repair is going to need to be done. Um, you can kind of see the crack, you know, it's it's pretty bad. And then this um, wire box holder, look, yeah, you can see there, it's flexing pretty good. Um, I'm not going to wiggle it anymore. And then right here, there's kind of another spot, but we think that we can just patch that from the outside and it'll be good. But uh, other than that, you know, the X2, we're going we're gonna to get the uh, repair done and then everything will be okay. This is the only one that's really gonna, yeah, you can see it flex in there, but this is the only one that's really gonna need glass on the outside and the inside, because it's it's pretty bad. And then, let's see, I don't know if you can see where that other one was. Yeah, you can't really see it from the outside. Um, and then there's one more over here. 
Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's pretty rough there. It's like really soft. And then, uh, I mean, nothing else. We're gonna, Alex Superjet's gonna get some modifications. So we have the motor pulled right now. We actually found out that the, let's see, where, where's the head at? Uh, I don't know where it went, but his head was milled. So that's why the compression numbers were so high. Um, we got the chicken in here and then the O2 super jet, which we're getting everything. You know, I ordered everything yesterday, spent a lot of money. It was like over 750 bucks to get everything that I need to re rebuild the white motor. You know, it really hurts when you blow up a motor and then 20 hours later, or you build a motor and then 20 hours later it blows up again but I guess that's the name of the game you know wave blaster really the only ski that's still reliable for me you know every single time starts up ready to run uh, and then I think I'm gonna pop the cover and show you one last view of the square nose before Jeremy gets it and builds it there she is guys. I'm really gonna miss the super jet. You know, it was pretty fun having the first ever super jet year. Last registered in 02. You know, I, I love the ski. I never really got it to run right. Because I mean the pump. The pump was pretty much seized and I was just running it anyway, so I have that pulled. Uh Jeremy's already got an impeller for it and he's gonna do what he needs to do to assemble the pump and get it back on the water. But yeah, I pretty much just dropped the 62T motor in for him so that uh, I could just, you know, like piece all the little things because all the little things really add up. So I try to make it as easy for him uh, assembling his first ever super jet. So yeah, everything's in there. Um, I think the blue really looks good with the black engine bay. So I'm excited for him. But uh, yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much going to do it. Um, I think the next video should be the GP1200. I just ordered a bottom end and uh, hopefully get that thing back on the water soon. But uh, appreciate it, guys. Take care.